Okay, so the idea is to talk about the configuration space of a polygon, which is an obstacle in the in the space. So, if we have, for example, a robot that look like this, and this is his center point, and I have a polygon which is an obstacle, which is this one. Now let's call it P. Now I want to talk about the configuration space, which a uh, is all the space of this polygon which the intersection between the robots and the polygon is if I intersect the polygon and the robot let's call it R it will be not empty namely this is the place where the robot cannot be so how do I find all this space around this P that the robot cannot be because if he will, he will uh, get stuck in the obstacle. To find this space, which is the configuration space, the space that the robot cannot be in around the obstacle, we need to use the Minkowski sums. Minkowski sums are a sum of two polygons so if I have those two polygons this R and P what can I do to get this uh, Minkowski sum of those two polygons is just to do the following thing take the this polygon and add him to this polygon as well how we, do we do that? we are taking this center and putting it in each of the points around the polygon for example, here we're taking this and we are building a polygon around it as it should. Now we continue, 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 do it for all this place. This is the Minkowski sum of the two polygons. And I continue in this way, here as well. Now, and I continue doing in, in this way in here now this won't won't give me if I now connect all of them I will get a space around as you can see I can get a space around the polygon P now this space is not exactly what I'm looking for this is the Minkowski sum of the two polygons but it's not exactly the place where I cannot put my uh, robot. Look for example on, I don't know, on this point, okay, here. I can put it in, I can put my robot here, that's okay. I mean, oh, I have a better example. Maybe I cannot do this one, but look at here. For example, here. Of course you can put my robot in here. Maybe it's not the most strictly good example, but I wish you can understand the point. So the Minkowski sum of two polygons won't give me the real area around the obstacle that will tell me where my robot cannot be. So what can I do? We will still use the Minkowski sum of the two robots and let's say what it is in general, the Minkowski sum of two polygons is just the sum of P plus Q, where P is a point in the first polygon and Q is a point in the second one. So all the points together build the Minkowski sum of the two polygons. Now, generally, I can do it in here as well. Here, also look for the points together and add them up but it doesn't really matter all the points in the borders are what most important so the Minkowski sum really is all that points together okay all that points together this is the Minkowski sum but what interesting me interest me is what is in the border so the center is not really interesting because the robot cannot get into the center Right, so the center is not really interesting. 
I want to look around around what is around the obstacle therefore I mostly talked about it okay so we have the Minkowski sum of two polygons but yet we didn't get the areas that is prohibited for the robot to be in in order to do that we need a different Minkowski sum or Minkowski sum that would be the same but we not the Minkowski sum this is the Minkowski sum what we did here of P plus R Minkowski sum of Minkowski we don't need this what we really need in order to get the area that is prohibited around the obstacle is the Minkowski sum of P plus minus R that is around the zero zero namely the opposite of the R for example let's look at the something else let's look at hmm, maybe this one look at that one okay now look at that one and I have this very small polygon now this is my robot this is my obstacle let's do the Minkowski sum it will look like this put one over here get one like this two like this get one over here get one like this two like this get one over here get one like this and two like this get one over here this is the Minkowski sum okay now I combine all of this okay so I get the Minkowski sum of all of this this is the Minkowski sum not this okay so as you can see here this is the Minkowski sum okay now of course this is not good why because look look at this point of course I cannot put my robot in here it will touch the obstacle but this is not part of the border that is prohibited because it's okay I can put it here it's not in the Minkowski sum so you can see here very strictly how the Minkowski sum of R the robot and P is not good what I should have done is minus R so minus R which will give me around the zero which will give me this one now if I combine this with the polygon with my P polygon what I get is let's take a little bit down so I won't crush it and make an awful now look at this one now I have this like this this uh, no I need one two one two yes that's good now here I have this one one two one two that's great here this one one two one two here this one one two one two great now get the head out of here this will be good this will be great this will be great okay now when you look at this one look how good it is why because look if now I try to put my polygon my polygon the source polygon now I will look at this polygon this, which is like this here and the center is let's say here now if I put it here for example it's okay you can see I don't get to the obstacle if I put it here it's also okay I won't get to the obstacle anywhere else it won't get to the obstacle namely this is the real prohibited space 
so you saw how we can use the Minkowski sum between the two polygons, the robot and the obstacle, to get the prohibited space around the obstacle, which is called the configuration space of the polygon, the configuration space of my obstacle. So again, I need to define it. The configuration space of the obstacle is the obstacle, Minkowski sum, with the minus r around the 0, 0, uh, 0, 0 point. This is how I transverse it around the 0, 0 point. If you look at the axis, my point is here, and this is my polygon. Now I just convert it to become like this. Converted it around and rotated it around the 0, 0 point. And this is minus r, and this is r. And I use this one in the Minkowski sum to get the configuration space of the obstacle. So this will give me the area when the this is the area when the robot really cannot be. So this is how we use the Minkowski sum to get the prohibited space, the configuration space of an obstacle, a polygon, in, in the idea of motion planning. Thank you very much. If there are any mistakes or correction, please tell me. And that's it. Let's call it motion planning. And in motion planning, finding, let's call it the prohibited space, or maybe better to say configuration space of what the configuration space of an obstacle of an obstacle in the space and you saw how I used Minkowski sound with the inverse robot. Thank you very much.